when when you define what authenticity is which is like just being who you truly are, truly are without fear of judgment and yeah. just being that person yeah it sounds really easy but in there's if i think back to my life like there were just so many points in life primary school secondary school university rugby days early days like of crossfit owning a business where i genuinely just didn't know who i was yeah and subconsciously i think i was trying to find who i was mm. and in trying to find who i was i was being all these different people yeah i look back on it now and it's easy to be like oh well, i was clearly people pleasing or i just wanted to be i cared more about popularity yeah um i wanted to have an image of myself but actually like i don't know if that really was the case mm. you know back then i think part of it was like was just trying yeah. to find out who I was, realizing, hmm, didn't didn't like that person. Don't I don't want to be that person. Something yeah. about this person doesn't resonate with me. Something about this person really does resonate with me. Yeah. How can I have more of that in me and in, in in my life? Yeah. Um. And I would say now, you know, I'm about to turn thirty five in a couple of months, oh my God. and I know. <laughs> but like, I genuinely feel that you know when people say like life gets better as you age. Yeah. I genuinely feel that and like every That's year awesome. after 30 has just gotten better and better and better because I have just I just feel like I'm closer and closer and closer to being genuinely authentic yeah and I guess what my authentic self is going to look like is going to continue to change and evolve probably until the day I die mm. but the I guess what authenticity really means is like whoever that person is at that point in, in time like you you're just owning it yeah you know and you're portraying that person in every walk of life doesn't matter who yeah. you're speaking to mm. where you are and what's so nice about it is going back to honesty which is like you know when you get those feelings where your your stomach goes into a knot and you get this like flush of sweat and heat and the heart rate bumps up <laughs> i don't have that shit anymore yeah you know like on any platform yeah even on instagram like, i can genuinely say anything and not fear about what people are going to say about it and it's very freeing yeah you know it's like even being on this podcast yeah it's like this is a platform where i really don't hold back on anything i actually was on a podcast not that long ago and they asked me like what is one naked truth about you that no one knows like, no, no. i literally sat there like i'm so i because she asked me this question before the podcast said make sure you come prepared and i completely forgot and she sprung it in the podcast live and i was like i'm really sorry i literally cannot think of anything because I feel like there is really, and I started just thinking about like, I don't know, should I describe my genitals or something? <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Like, that's nothing. probably the only thing the world hasn't really seen, but maybe should I? And I was like, I'm really sorry. Like, honestly, I feel like there's nothing I really don't share. Yeah. I'm finding it really hard to answer this question. Mm. So we had to literally do like a stop, Ed, think of something, come back. And, and I said something, but I didn't really believe it. Um, so you lied. I lied, yeah. <laughs> you were dishonest. <laughs> it was kind of honest. But you know, like, I also think that's just, a, it's a really nice place to be. I agree with that. Yeah. I think, you know, what you said is so true. Like life is an experiment. We're totally just trying to figure things out. And for some people, it takes them longer. For some people, it's shorter and it's ever changing. And that's what's beautiful about it. It would become boring if it wasn't, you know, you do have to go through this trial and error period where you hang out with a certain bunch of people and you're like, are these the kind of people that I want to hang around? You don't know what your belief system is because half the time when you're growing up, it's kind of forced on you. You know, mm. I grew up in a really religious family and I went to a Christian school and that was kind of my bubble. And then finished school and I was like, whoa, there's like a whole world out here that's yeah. like entirely different. And it was very interesting to try and navigate life. And like there were principles from what I learned growing up that it was like, be a good person and be honest and be humble. Those sorts of things that I carried forward from religion, not to necessarily say that's what I kept, but you know, there were other things that I was like, well, you know, now I'm older, I have the choice to kind of discover whether or not those things really do align with me. And I think, you know, being authentic is so difficult because who are we? You know, it's mm. really hard in life to not get fixated on tying ourselves up to the labels that we give ourselves. Um, you know, I can definitely see myself doing that. Like I said, one of the hardest journeys was becoming not an athlete. And then I was like, oh, and I've just put on my hat as a coach or, you know, mm. Tammy, the nutrition and lifestyle person. But more recently, I've been trying to change the way that I introduce myself and trying to change the language around it where it's very much, you know, I'm a really caring person. I like to serve others. I like to speak the truth, you know, all those sorts of things so that eventually in life, because it's going to happen, my titles are going to be stripped of me, but mm. I'm still that person that yes. still cares for people and still wants to serve others and still, 
likes to study and like learn new things and be creative. So yeah, I guess for me, this entire journey has been discovering who I am and I love who I am Mm. right now. You know, like it rings true to a lot of the values and things that I said before, but I don't think I really aligned with it. Mm. Whereas now my values and my belief system are the person who I am through and through. And like you said, super invigorating, very freeing feeling. And every now and then I catch myself and I'm not doing that. And then that's when I feel at angst feeling and Mm. like really uncomfortable. But we're always reminded that this is what it feels like to feel good when I'm honest, when I'm authentic.